Hello and welcome back to the Bold Bavarians. So, we need to quickly check where there's anything we want to do, but I suspect there isn't, and then we're going to let time move forward and basically let a bunch of these numbers fly up, let some of our events reset, and uh, see where things are in a little bit. So, can we declare a war? England. I don't think we're going to do that. Osberg and Tyrol. Okay, so let's have a look at our wars with Osberg and Tyrol. So count Gunbold's claims, we can't press because I'm sorry, you, it's for the duchy. Osberg, I assume the same thing. Yeah, so we can't get any either of those. So we probably actually want to gain a claim at some point. Uh, do we want to start fabricating? We could fabricate on what's left of Osberg, I suppose. Yeah, just uh, go there and try and take it. Something like that. And then beyond that, there's not really anything else that we can do. There's nothing we need to work, for, work on. Uh, we're letting our piety go up. We're letting our money go up. Uh, is there anything that you guys need to be working on? You've got control, you're finding secrets, you're building development, and you're just making our vassals like us. Okay, so nothing. So I think we're pretty much good. Apart from the fact that we're actually at 5 of 6 here, we could change our domain and lower that down to like assist ruler or something. Let's see. Yeah, we can actually hold that quite nicely. Um, was I, I was going to give my cousin some land, I think, wasn't I? I was potentially going to give him Pasal over here. Uh, let's see, does he want it? Um, he probably does. He hates us right now for many, many reasons. But you know what? I said I was going to give him some land back. Wait, is he not even in my court? Uh, oh, I can I can hook him to court though, can't I? Yeah, I'm going to recruit him. I've now done so. He's, uh, you know, now happy that he's here. Or a little bit happier. I can now just break his betrothal, just be like, Nah, screw you. Now you don't even get your betrothal. No, I'm going to uh, grant him a title. I'm going to grant him Pasal. What's this saying? Include least out holdings. Well, okay, that's fine. We'll give him that. Cool. He has become my vassal. He still doesn't like me, but hey, we said we were going to do that when we got rid of his father. There we go. Job done. Right. Moving on. It's also the land really wasn't worth anything to us, so... Hopefully, he'll do something with it. Maybe uh, gain some control on it or something. That wasn't the one I was doing control on, was it? No. Perfect. Right. I'm going to let time move on. We're going to just see how things go. He joined the fact. He immediately created a faction against me. Really? I suppose that's not uh, unexpected. A faction for my land. Wow. Just lovely. Munch. Day of sorrow. Oh, no. Munch has walked by my side for many years. And the passage of time does not spare dogs. As I kneel beside him, he starts wagging his tail slowly, but he cannot raise his head. I sit with him long into the night, petting his black his uh, black back until the tail stills. I will miss you, Munch. So we lose pet dog and walking dog. No, no. Hunt, returning from the wild. Ah, yes, this is the one that we did for a little bit of prestige. Cool. Excuse me, what? Excuse me? What? What? Duchess Judith of Bavaria rests in the arms of the Lord at 29 years of age. She died under mysterious circumstances. We were just murdered? Alright then. Known for spending most of her nights in her laboratory, she be she was believed by many to be nothing more than a warlock concocting unholy spells in the secrecy of her castle. Duke Themo ascends to the throne. Merely eight years old, he will need to rely on, count on the council during his first years of rule. Now, as much as I would like to blame our brand new vassal, I suspect that it was not him, but we'll see. I, maybe this event behind will reveal something. Uh, I suspect he was not involved in it, but still, it's kind of annoying to just be dead, you know? So, mysterious circumstances. Cultural head, was dreaded, was distinguished, faithful, had a learning lifestyle and fought in five wars. We're now Themo. So we lost Munchen, which is annoying. So we lost the county of Munchen and the county of Eschenlau. Uh, which actually means we should be at two of five domain? Wait, right? Yeah, because we only have two left. Uh, and there we go. She ruled for 22 years, but is now, uh, yeah dead. Same as the previous. He was also murdered. We don't know. Well, we know by who there, but we don't know by who for this one. Okay. Shedding this mortal coil. 
Travelling through the dark woods with my retinue, we are accosted by a band of rogues. They soon proved to be more interested in our lives than our gold, and though my men fought bravely, the brigands had the element of surprise. I run as fast as I can, until I think I have made it to safety, then, over the noise of the battle, I hear the pure twang of a single bowstring. I had so much more to live for. I was murdered by an unknown, unknown assailant. Huh. We're dead. Alright then. Um... Obviously not a great situation to be in. Steven? Um, he hates me more than he hated our mother. Okay. Lovely. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do. This was not part of the plan. Um, let's get people on here. So, you look like you would fit this role quite nicely. We'll sign that to you. I think that was what you were doing before anyway. Spymaster is the next one that we need and we need somebody who doesn't hate us. You quite clearly do hate us, however. Uh, does anybody not hate us? <laughs> sort by that. Why does why do you hate me at 92? Opinion of predecessor. Wow, you really hated her, right? Um, we could put Azo in. I mean, he sort of doesn't like me. Yeah, I guess we'll put Azo in. He, he's at least a neutral. Maybe disrupt schemes to stop us from dying. That seems like a good move. Uh, this one, uh, I guess Guntbold is going to be in here. He still dislikes me, but that's alright. Um, because he's a titled layman and he didn't like my mother. And nobody seemed to like my mother very much. Then Friedrich. Hey, you almost like me after that. Okay. Uh, I guess I don't need you to improve Munchen's, uh, domain. So we have, we kept this one as well. Wait a second. Oh no, we already held this one. Oh, right, yes, we already held this one because uh, he already held land. That's why we're three out of five. Okay. So, 100% uh, control, 100% control, 100% control. We actually want you, then, instead of that, to be on probably organized levies. Just increase the number that we have available to us to make ourselves look stronger. None of this we need to worry about right now. Um... We can apparently usurp uh, Osberg, which we could do usurp at Presta the Dejure claim and then uh, destroy it, but I don't think we want to do that just now. Okay, what's our... We're, we're going towards a diplomacy education? That seems fair. Who's educating us? Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, let's find somebody to educate us. Can I do that? Am I allowed to choose somebody? I guess I need to wait a second or two. There we go. So now I should have no guardian. Yeah, now I can educate us. Um, I don't know. Well, none of these people want to educate us. I want to look for... If I go back a generation. Two generations? Yeah, you. I want a witch to educate us. Oh, you're not even in my court? Yeah, I'll invite her to court. She'll accept because I'm her dynasty head. There we go. Wait for her to accept that one. Any moment now. She'll accept any moment now, I'm sure. So tell me how long we have to wait. No. Alright, we'll go up to speed uh, 4. She's joined our court. Fantastic. Uh, would you like to educate me? Yeah, sure. That seems good. We have a dangerous faction against us. Which wants to install Hill the card on the throne? Of course. The person we just invited to educate us. Lovely. Um, yep. She's arrived at court. We could get a few extra troops, and that would make it just stop existing. It's like right on the edge. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to buy a few men-at-arms. Well, I'm going to buy one men-at-arms, I guess. And hopefully that'll knock it over the edge. It'll also start our purchasing of them. But I feel like just buying one might help for just now. Just to knock it down. Oh, no, someone else joined. Never mind. The puppy. I'm out walking with Hildegard when I hear it. It's a tiny sound, frail and scared. I look all over, under every stone, round every corner, behind every bush, and I finally find it. A small puppy, all alone, sits between two stones. It's my puppy. Uh, here, Otto, take it. I'm not going to give it to Otto, my half-brother. No, it's my puppy now. Obviously. What are we going to name our dog? I don't know. What are we going to name her? Um... What are we going to name her? 
Um, well, we'll name her after our mother. I don't know if that's a good thing to do. We'll call her Judy. There we go. Right, um, are we able to kill either of these factions? We should be able to gain alliances, right, between, uh, our family members, or are we just one generation out from that? My sister is betrothed to you. Um, okay. So that should get us an alliance with him, but yet it isn't. I guess it gets an alliance once they're actually married. So that's six years till that happens. That's going to be too late. Okay. Then we could break the betrothal when we do it. Uh, sure, I'm going to pet my dog. Yeah, wonderful. Right. Um, next thing that we need to do. You are married to nobody. You could potentially get a betrothal with... I can't arrange your betrothals. No, okay. Um, our half-sister. We could marry her off. Okay, is there anybody we want to marry her off to to kill one of these factions? How about you? You appear to only have daughters. That's a little bit of a problem, if I'm honest with you. You? You're already marrying uh, my other sister. Hmm. That's not going to work either. Yep. Okay. So we can't get either of them out of it. How strong are they? 1,600 around 1,400. They are pretty strong, huh? We have no alliances whatsoever. That's just really annoying. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I guess we're just screwed. We're going to have to fight them at some point. Hey, we got some insular Christianity favor up. I mean, we could switch religion and that would probably do it. Except, oh no, you're also insular Christian, so you just don't like me in general. Although, opinion of predecessor... Oh, yours, you actually liked our mother and it's going down. You'll hate me at the end of this. Okay. You want to be on the council. Uh, is there any way I can make room for you? The only place you can be is Spymaster. That's, uh, I guess you have to be, right? I know it's terrible from the point of view that he's probably going to kill us, but... On the other hand, I mean... If this gets him out of the faction, he gets him out of the faction, you know? It's not going to, but it's worth a try. Right, speed 5? There's not a lot that we can do to change it, uh, events here. Yeah. We do have this that's growing, which is hopefully helping us slightly, but... It's only delaying the inevitable, really. Right, we got military presence, which increased our garrison size. What's our capital right now? It's this one, right? Yeah, it's got 600 levies. I'm just seeing whether we can boost that. So, how much does our capital get us? Is it 10%? Uh, 10%. And we get 26 from organizing levies. Does this also get the 26? It does. So yeah, 10% of that's going to get us, like, just a little bit less than this one. So that's actually not very helpful. Um, what are you doing? We don't need you to do this anymore. I think we need you to just religious relations for now. You are making people like us through domestic affairs, which is good. I think I might switch to collect taxes for just now as well to make a little bit of extra money. Again, it's all just kind of like delaying the inevitable. But that's okay. The longer we can delay it, the better. Anything in here? We're in line to inherit titles. Not really helpful. Yeah, so you're just going to fire. I guess the best thing that we can hope for is that Hildegard dies. I mean, we could kill her. Except that we're not allowed to. I mean, we could imprison her and then just, you know. If we disinherited her, would that remove her claims? I don't know whether disinheriting removes claims. Hmm. I could denounce her. And that would then give us an imprisonment reason. I know we did just make her our educator, but at the same time, that could potentially help. If we imprisoned her, then they would be unable to press their faction because we could just kill her. I mean, there's also this faction as well, which is going to fire as well, which is just not helpful in the slightest. Yeah, this is absolute chaos. This is absolute chaos. Playtime. I was playing with the other children when um, Otakar uh, tried to push me over. So I become wrathful, and become forgiving, and we become friends. Or I just thought of a different game. Become thick uh, fickle. Let's, let's become uh, forgiving. It's a virtue. It gives us diplomacy. Yeah, let's take it. Will, we, will they be different from our mother? Cool. Uh, I'm just seeing whether any of these factions want to just stop, fight, like, just disappear. Cadet branch. Your aunt, Countess Susanna, created the cadet branch von Eberstein. Or Eberstein? Yeah, Eberstein. 
Um, interesting. So we now have a split branch from us, which is kind of cool. Um, I like having the cadet branches every now and again. Um, so, I'm trying to think if there's anything we can do with that. Not really. What's this saying? Uh, I'm not her rightful leash, so it's reducing amount. Hmm. The other thing we could do is we could give up the Duchy of Bavaria. I'm just thinking of that as an option. If we give up the Duchy of Bavaria, then what that allows us to do is be a vassal underneath them. I suppose we could do that. That might be our best play. Because I'm looking at this and thinking, can we even fight them off? I'm like, I don't know if we can. They are weaker than they were a second ago, but... Like, we, we probably are not going to be able to fight them off, but we definitely can't fight that one off. So, hmm. We might have to just let Hildegard rule. Oh, never mind. We can fight that one off 100% now. Someone left it. A deep friendship. Otakar is a really good friend. Whenever we spend time together, I always enjoy myself, and he understands me like no one else does. Even though we are such great friends, sometimes I wonder if I do not want more from our relationship. So I can like him as more than a friend and get a crush on him, and he's no longer our friend. We realize our, we are homosexual. Or he is nothing but a great friend, and we also realize we're homosexual. Sure, we'll get a crush on him. Why not? Claimant demands. To my liege. The right to rule Bavaria belongs to Hildegard by divine right, and we have gathered support, uh, the support required to make it so. Accept this fact peacefully, or we'll make you do so by force. So what if I say yes? I become a vassal of her. Every faction member um, gains a weak hook on her. She gets the Duchy of Bavaria, gets the County of Regensburg, and becomes Ke Kaiser uh, Sigismund's vassal. Um, okay, and then everybody else becomes her vassal. Or, I will not be threatened. And we get a faction. Okay. Let's work this out. So they have about 3,000 troops. We have about 2,000 troops. We have no allies. So we would need to crush one of their armies immediately. Let's see where they're, they're at. So you are here and you are here. So they could actually get their armies together really quickly if they raise them in Falcon. Yeah, if they raise them here and here, they would actually get them raised very quickly and would be able to effectively fight against us. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm like... I guess I have no choice. Let me just check. And her vas, her child, is of our dynasty as well. Okay. You know what? I think we have to take, like, this is not a path I wanted to go down, but we're not going to get anything for another, you know, six years. This, this is our opportunity to just take a step back, relax, let's us be a vassal, let's us have someone else take control for a little bit. I think that this, this was probably our better move. Yeah. Um, I have no choice. Effectively. It's not often that I say yes to factions, but there we go. We have no factions against us, obviously. Hildegard is now um, his um, vassal. I love that her outfit she's went for is this. Oh, she's also ill. She's about to die. Oh no, we probably should have said that. You are now a mere count. Wow, it's so scathing. So the new heir is going to be uh, Willeberg. Should I just create a fa- I can't create a faction right now? No. Okay. Because I'm a child. Yeah, I guess when we become an adult, we can create a faction for us to be part- uh, to get Bavaria. Which I think would probably have some success, potentially. But now we get to play from the level of being a vassal. So we get to kind of play against our liege for a little bit. Uh, Counselor. That's going to be you, I guess. That seems fine. So is this fellow vassal opinion? Yeah, I think we want that now. Steward can be you. Cool. Marshal. Um, we'll have that be Razo. And Spymaster is going to be Azo. Cool. And everyone likes me more now that I'm a count. You know, maybe being a count was a decision that we could have taken. Yeah. Right. So now I'm going to go speed five. The kitten. I'm out playing under Duchess Hildegard's supervision when I suddenly hear a sound. It's small and it is weak, but it is there. I look under every bush, e under every rock, in every direction, and there a tiny kitten. We got a cat! Oh, wonderful. What am I going to name the cat? I don't know what I'm going to name the cat. I don't have another name for a cat. Um, I, I have absolutely no idea. You know what? Uh, we have a crush, don't we? 
Let's see what we can name our cat. Is there anything that's going to work here for him? We're going to name the cat Ota. There we go. What a great name. Right. Judy, the council meeting. As me and my councillors are gathering for a meeting, my dog Judy approaches me with begging eyes and drooping tail. She does not like to be left alone, but this is an important meeting. She will join me. Yes, definitely. Uh, we are also going to pet our cat. I also love that we have both a cat and a dog again. Wonderful. Well, I think that this is a good point to end the episode because absolute chaos has happened. Oh, we're still being educated by Hildegard, right? We definitely are. Yeah, absolute chaos has happened. I'm really not entirely sure what our next play is, but I'm excited to find out. Bavaria, however, is still together, and that's the thing that we need to remember. Our land is together, and we are one war away from having it again. Realistically, we weren't going to do anything until we were 16 anyway. This gives us a moment of peace. It lets us just slowly, you know, become come of age, gain some kind of strength, get some support behind us, and then take the throne back. Uh, it should be fairly easy, especially once she dies. It'll... Wait, who's their... Pri oh, no. Did you die under... Oh, no. This is the guy who's been doing everything. Because... He just killed her, which now means that he is going to be the rightful heir. He's so much better at this than I am. He's going to take control and he's just going to rule with his uh, one leg. Okay, interesting. Well, I guess what's going to happen is uh, we're going to have to take it back from him. I wonder whether we can find a secret. You know what? Your job, if you choose to accept it. Wait, where is his court? Because I'm fairly certain it was him. So Liege, this guy, is Rothenburg. I'm going to send you on an important mission to Rothenburg to find out who killed our mother. Right, and with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.